Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are going to be talking about canals. And the reason I got this because I've gotten a few comments um, in relation to Canalville on how to create canals without using the in-game key tool. Since the in-game key tool is definitely lacking, it leaves a lot to be desired. I've tried to use it on multiple occasions and there still are instances when I use it quite a bit, like maybe with water treatment facilities or if you're just doing a quick little canal, it's not bad. Today we are going to be designing out this island and I wanted to go over a few things so you can do this with mods or without mods. I'm going to be using mods today, but I'll be showing you guys as I'm going like, all right, you know, if you're not playing with mods, this is something that you want to do um, first. And so the mods that I will be using for this are Network Multi-Tool and Key Anarchy and then Move It as well. And so again, if you don't have mods, um, I'll walk you guys in on what to do. So the first thing you want to do is jump into Roads and go to Rural Roads. If you don't have this tab, then just navigate to your dirt road. And so what we're going to be doing is designing something that is going to look cool but also be functional and this really depends on what you want to do with your city i went ahead and created this map and so i had to do one water source down the middle and so you can choose to keep your water source whatever you want to do or something like canalville where i did something really intricate um, i'm going to do something fun today and so basically what you want to do is literally just draw whatever you want to draw and so all right and so what i'm going to do is start drawing out a pattern i'll be right back with you guys All right, so I think this is it. I decided to do a circular pattern, but honestly, you could do whatever you want. You could copy me. You could come up with your own idea. You could literally do drawings in here if you wanted to. All right, and so now the next step for you to do is go ahead and dig out your key walls. And you can go ahead and build the key walls first if you're playing with mods, but I think if you dig them out first, it actually makes it a little bit easier once you have once you start having to clean up your key walls and everything. And it makes it so that if you're not playing with mods, you can go ahead and do this. And so um, one of the cool things with the level terrain tool is that you can literally just right click and then go like this and the road acts as almost like a natural barrier you can go on the other side of it but it creates a little ledge this is one of the main reasons why doing key balls with these are so easy and so this is kind of tedious, but um, you just gotta, you know, stay positive. The end result is definitely worth it. And so you just gotta go through and do this for all the canals now. All right, and so you have flooded your canals and now you have a basic canal shape. You do have some issues with the clippings, but again, it's just because of the road. And so if you're not playing with mods, now what you do is literally just go into your key tool and I'm actually gonna be using a modded key for this just because I think it looks a little better and it provides some, some better turns, but you can still do it with the regular key tool. All you have to do is go through and literally just follow your shoreline all the way down. And so if you find that you're a little bit further than you want to be, what you want to do is just be right next to the road. What you can do is go back into your level terrain tool and just create a little bit of a sharper edge in here. So if you create that sharper edge, what you're going to do is allow the key to be placed a little bit closer to that road. You do have to be careful though, since you don't have anarchy, but I believe even like right there would probably be miles better so then you can at least place it a little bit closer to your wall it is a little bit lower but honestly what i would do is just place it all the way down go all the way around and then level it out afterwards and then go through and replace any key walls that you find aren't at the desired height and so now what i'm going to do for anybody who's playing with mods i'm going to come in here i'm going to go to the network multi-tool i'm going to have make sure that my key is selected i'm going to go to create parallel mode and i'm literally just going to start somewhere on a flat piece you don't want to start on a on an edge i'm just going to go all the way around and this is just a great tool if you've never used it before and so i do want to have the key go this way and so what i'm going to do is draw a road in here and connect these up where I want the key to go. I think that'll be good. And then you can jump back into your uh, network multi-tool, the parallel mode. And so you go like that and just go all the way around. Super easy tool to use. It's great. I use it in a ton of different circumstances now, but you just follow it around. You do have to click on the junctions if you have any road crossings or anything like that. And then it doesn't allow you to complete the circuit for some weird reason, but you can get pretty close. So we'll go like right there. I think you get within one node. And then I normally tuck it in a little bit. So I'll go down to like 10 and then hit enter. And there you go. So now you have a key wall going all 
the way around. And then what I'm going to do here is just clean this up, do a road real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and place key walls all the way around. Okay. And so canals all the way down. The only area that I left them was on this ridge right here. That whole road technique that I was doing just didn't work out as well. And so I'm, I'm going to actually draw them in once we get rid of the roads. And so now your next step is to actually go through and just delete all the roads. If you're playing without mods, you might've already done this. Um, but if you're playing with mods, this definitely comes after you do the parallel tool. It's kind of tedious, but you just basically hold down the, the bulldoze button and go all the way around. Okay, and so it's kind of funny, as I was doing that, I realized that there was an easier way. And so if you jump in to move it, if you're playing with mods, you can go to your marquee selection tool, and then you can choose this little uh, picker thing up here, and you can choose the gravel road. And so now what that does is it makes it so that the move it mod will only select the gravel road. And it's so funny, I use this with my fountains and stuff, but for some reason, I uh, didn't think about this. <laughs> As you can see, I already deleted quite a bit. But once it's all selected, you literally just hit delete and let the game figure itself out. And voila, now we have no more dirt roads. And it's kind of funny, it still left the bridge pieces. I'm guessing the bridge pieces fall under a different category from gravel road. Um, so I'm just going to go around and delete those now. It actually looks like just these ones. All right, and so this looks pretty good. As you can see, we definitely missed missed a couple little spots. It looks like I missed this island for some weird reason. But I'm going to go through and do a key wall all the way around here as well. Have it curve up following this little river front. And then I'm going to clean up some of these little tighter edges. And then I'll show you guys how to actually clean up the key walls. Okay. And so once you have that, what you want to do is if you're playing with mods, jump into the network multi-tool and go to invert segment mode. And you want to go through and actually flip on any of these that are backwards. And you can kind of see normally with the ground tear, you'll get like a piece of ground on the opposite side. If you're dealing with a key ball that has a little bit of a fence, you can always jump down and see which side the fence is on. It is kind of tedious, but it's just because um, we had that road right next to it. And so the key ball just normally doesn't read correctly for all of them. So I'm just going to go around and flip all these now. All right. And so once you have flipped the majority of your key walls, now all you need to do is go into the level terrain tool and level out your islands, but also uh, level out the edge of your key walls a little bit. Maybe mess with some heights in your water. It really depends on what you want to do while you're doing it. You're still going to come across segments that are flipped the wrong way. It's just really hard when dealing with a really big area. If you're dealing with a smaller area, then this is obviously easier. It's only because I'm doing like a whole island that this is uh, pretty difficult. And so now I'm going to go ahead and do all this real quick and I will be right back. All right. And so I think this looks fantastic. It definitely took some time. Anybody who's done this before knows how tedious it can be to get those little ripples out. Like you can even see we still have some in here, but then you also get the ground to come up on the side. And, and so this is normally something if I'm doing one of these builds that I'll just come back through and tidy them up as I'm building because doing it all at once, especially if you're doing this large of a canal network, um, can take some time. And so, um, but it is enjoyable. If anybody's interested in the map, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on my Patreon for about a week and then I'm going to throw it on the Steam Workshop. So if you guys would int are interested in checking it out, go ahead and check out my Patreon link in the description below. And I hope this episode helped out anybody who was a little confused how to do uh, custom canals like this. I believe it is definitely better than the end game tool. It just takes a lot longer, but you're able to really do some fun designs and just basically do whatever you want. Um, if you haven't checked out Canalville yet, I definitely recommend it. And I'm actually going to throw up a video on your screen for when we did the Canal Network in Canalville. And so make sure to check that out. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on Friday.